Haha, <laughs> it works. Alright, welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Alright. We're going to, now that we're in a real space program with rewards and consequences, we've got to keep it real. We need to build something that's not going to screw up. So we're going to make Huddle Jumper MK1. First thing every spacecraft needs is a command pod. Look at that NASA seal! I, w I bet that's the NASA seal of approval. And I I wonder if that's just automatically whatever my flag is. I think it is, but I, I would assume it is. Okay, next we need some propulsion. Let's see, we need a couple... We only need to do a basic launch. And we want to make sure we land intact, which means we don't want to... Actually, even this might be a too heavy craft. We want a nice light craft, do what we need to do, and be fine. Okay, control surfaces, we don't have that yet. Structural, aerodynamic, no. Utility, parachute, very important. Science, communitron. We're not really going to... All right. So now we need to separate our stages here so we don't fire our engines at the same time as our parachute. Alright, there we go. There's the puddle jumper. And we're going to be doing rocket science as easy as that. Here we go, launch. Alright, let's see. Okay. This is Jebediah Kernan. Throttle is up. Engines are ready to fire. Checking SAS. Let's do a quick crew report. Make sure everything's alright. Crew report. Data. Let's do an EVA report. Data. Alright. Okay. And now the all important countdown. T minus ten seconds. I don't have an actual stopwatch, so it's guesstimating. Now it's like eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition and lift off! Man, that's a responsive rocket, but it is pretty light. So that shouldn't be that surprising. Alright, let's let's go ahead and see how awesome we can get this. We're not really high enough to achieve much. Oh, could we actually get up to 5,000? Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, look at that! We just completed like three contracts at once. Okay, let's deploy our chute. Slow down. We want to... Meet the same angle. We're over the water. We get another crew report here. There we go. Deep data. We don't really have enough batteries to bother with transmitting much. Not until we get some batteries and solar panels does transmitting really become worth the effort. And let's see, Jebediah, can you do it? Looks like a fantastic lunch. Let's do it. EVA. Keep. There we go. It's EVA reports that you can stack. All right, fantastic first mission. Who said rocket science was that hard anyways? Look at this. Look how easy that is. 
We just slapped a command pod on there, a fuel, an engine, a chute, and a communitron. P-E-Z-P-Z. -Z. All right. Now, we want to get a sample. Take surface sample. Keep data. You've taken a sample of the water. It appears to dramatically increase the surface humidity of anything it touches. Fascinating. I don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary to get here. Well, to be perfectly honest, we don't have cars yet, and you walk really slow, so it kind of was. Okay, let's board. Alright, and time to recover. Get a lot of science points for that. Okay, let's see. 34.9 science. Actually, I earned 39 science altogether because of different ways it's calculated or something. Part value. So here's what I recycled. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. There's monopropellant in there. It must have been stored in the cabin. Three parts, one resource recovered. Crew. Plus 25 rep. Total reputation, 67. 47. I can read. Why would you think I can't read? Ah, oh, wasn't that fantastic? What an inspiring start to a promising rocketry career. Thanks for watching. See you next time.